and we back ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is jack the bus for i shinobi we have episodes 168 and 169 nice of our one piece watch of the day now in the last one we were finally uh the, the inaru the god was finally revealed to us and he's pretty much how i expected him to be a little cocky in terms of everything going on and pretty confident in everything that uh, i guess whatever part of his plan is in terms of dealing with luffy or the shandians or anyone so now we have like that sort of trial set up the, the the priests are set up in different places their their entire system of only being able to be in certain domains is completely gone after satori inaru said no it doesn't matter anymore you can you can do whatever you want so now this gold this treasure hunt is going to either be mixed in with shandians everywhere priests and then luffy's crew just trying to find their way through it all if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's just hop right into the episodes <laughs> Who was the mysterious figure? Om Gidatsu and Shura. I think Shura is the only one I remember just because of his fight with Chopper and Gonfall. I wouldn't really say Chopper fought him, but I mean, he gave it a shot. What about what rules were in place originally? Did he say go as wild as you want? Like aside from just the domains they were supposed to stay in, what other rules were there? Going Mary tells no secret. All right, so it's Usopp, Nami, uh, Sanji, and Pierre. Pierre was in that. I would, I would imagine Gon falls with him. And then the rest of the crew is a part of uh, a different, I, I guess, search team. I don't think they should split up personally, but that's just me. Oh, no. <laughs> right, I so right. They're both wrong. Go, Chopper, go. Get everybody back in line. <laughs> Why did he find a stick and laugh to himself? What is he gonna do with that stick? You're such a child. Chopper's trying to dissect the. That's a nice stick! <laughs> Get your own stick, Chopper. He's so cute, bro. Well, yeah, when you're with such powerful people, you can feel safe. He found a stick! Look at his stick. Let's go. <laughs> what is behind them? What is that? I just know he's trying to have like an upbeat attitude. There's going to be something in the background. No, Chopper doesn't. I know Luffy and Zoro would love to just like, like run into trouble. Uh, bro, that looks like an animal and it's moving. Run, Chopper, run. Don't fall behind. You're a tasty little snack for any animal in this forest. Oh, he doesn't want to be embarrassed. I love the way Luffy is walking with his stick. I knew it! I knew that too! Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. They're surrounded. Is it a snake? Oh, it is! Don't worry, Chopper. You have your stick to defend you. That thing is insane. Meanwhile... So it is Pierre. I guess Gunfall is still recovering. Probably just in the ship. Oh, they're bringing the crow boat. Nice! Nice, actually. That can be very helpful. <laughs> I will leave you to die. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps referring to him as a weird man. That's like mean for like forgetting a character's name. I remembered Gonfall pretty well. There's just some people's names that are harder to remember than others for some reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is the all purpose medicine. <laughs> you want some backstory, kid? Listen, Usopp. Actually, Usopp is a pretty good listener. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre's like, put some respect on his name. It was only six years ago that he was gone. Mm. So the sky people just been here for that long. Oh, the pirate flag. Now, I was watching some of the older episodes back yesterday. I still haven't forgotten about those enormous giants that we saw at, like as the knock-up stream appeared. That is still just in the back of my mind. Oh, oh this is medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Shandians are from Earth. Well, I say Earth. They are from ground level. Or did they leave? Oh, damn! Hmm. I see. And Enaru kind of... Enaru isn't even nice to the sky people either. 
Yeah, that's the one. I, that's the part I'm most curious about is how he came into power and why he. I guess. I mean, he just might have just wanted power. Appear from some sky island. Okay. okay. All the ones that came with him. Yeah, that's the priests and everybody that we saw at the shrine. Like that, that giant dude. Yeah, I figured. And the sky people still live in fear of Inaru. That's also what I'm wondering. Why? Yeah, that's Wiper, I believe, that attacked them. Why would Wiper attack them? God, take that kick. Wait, what? So he thought they, they were part of Inaru's group, just leaving. Oh, okay, that makes way more sense. Yeah, he does rule them out of fear. Oh, you see everybody on the surface, how they're scared they are of Inaru? Well, he literally strikes people down. He doesn't just scare them. See how outsiders are treated. Mm -hmm. Witness firsthand. I mean, it's still a beautiful place, and I don't know. It holds a lot of potential. It's just ruled by bad people. Oh, now we can tell you the history. But wait, wouldn't he know since he's been here this entire time and it rose up all that time ago and he used to be God? I guess it depends how old Gonfall actually is. If he is, he was the God of Skypiea. Maybe he just confirmed there is no gold. Like I, I was, I was hinting towards, I was like, I don't know if there is. Oh, shoot. Yo, God Gonfall got some drip. Jeez. I don't think that fixes anything. It seems like Gonfall tried to fix things, but didn't really come up with any great solution. One that benefits the Shandians, too. Ah! What the hell does that mean? What did he throw at that guy? Okay, I'm guessing that's gonna be explained later. Brother hates, he hates pulp. He has a certain just spite for it. He's always in the center of any trouble there is. Well, he's kind of the one leading their fight to take the land back though. It's not like this, he's like causing problems like on accident or on purpose. Maybe it's just because he's so aggressive about it, but he's just passionate about it. Look how far they've come. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. He doesn't think so. Mm. I mean, that's a really... It's like turning him into this, this gung-ho person. I mean, he's already gung-ho about it, but like one that will sacrifice people to get his mission accomplished, including himself, sacrificing himself. But I don't know. It's a very uh, dangerous way of going about it. I think he's just getting sick of it not working out. That is one mammoth of a snake. Can't Zoro cut it? I would imagine so. Does it have like fur? What is that? Hair? Like near the neck? Use your stick chopper, come on! I see, I like seeing her application of that kind of stuff more often. Like tricks and little things like that that she's learned over the years. Oh, it has poisonous gas. Or is it dying? No, it's, it's expelling gas. Oh, shoot! It was about to collapse the forest. Even Robin's scared. That's exactly what, exactly what Luffy wanted. Don't touch the poison, Zoro. Are you sure? Oh my God, Luffy's sacrificing himself. Pod. Uh, she seems to be having a little bit of fun with it too, a little laugh. Zoro worked his whole way to its tail. Okay, is he just dumb? Or is there like the, the tail another head? I'm gonna go with the former. How did my man's work his way all the way to the tail and end up at the exact same place? This forest is cursed. <laughs> well, I guess they're all dead, Robin. Oh no, now the entire crew is actually separated. <laughs> I look away for one second. I'm in like completely different environment. Surely he has the map memorized. Surely. Wait, he said to the right because the right eye again. It's not always right. Okay, see, this looks sort of where Zoro is. Oh my gosh. Warmish. He just feels wherever it's kind of warm. He's like, that's south. Oh my gosh. 
He does have eyes and ears everywhere. Maybe the snake? He's just like spectating it all. They're all going to challenge him. I'm kind of scared. They have the whole crew. I mean, how close are they to like Luffy and all of them? We don't even know in terms of like geography where the shrine is. All that we've seen is it, it looks like higher than everything else, I think. The sky was darker up there, but it could have just been nighttime. But obviously the, the geography and the general layout of Upper Yard has everybody confused. Episode 169, nice, let's get it. Okay, there is also a new intro starting in this one and I was told it's spoiler free, so we are vibing. Oh, shoot. It's like it is still, yeah, Skypea. That is exciting. Everybody, bro. But it's kind of mixing in like some CG. Luffy in his spot. Does Nami short say evil? There's the chopper says smile. The toe click. Oh my gosh. Here comes the chorus. I can feel it. Everybody's backstories all in one. Little glimpse at Robin's. Chopper's on the mast. <gasps> panda. I saw the panda. Ooh, I like the fits. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, they have some crazy fits on. That was a banger. Actually, even better than the last one. The last one's probably my least favorite out of all of them so far, but that one was that one's good. Oh, boy, yes. Yes, the giant forest of Shandians, the priests. Anaru is watching with his mantra, and then all of Luffy's crew is just lost trying to find this treasure, man. Yeah, they're not used to it. Guessing like the skates and stuff. A dial? Oh, is it like certain armor? Oh. It's gonna have like no weakness to their weapons. Bro, what does Sanji have here? What is this hammer? Damn. <laughs> I think there's more to it, Usopp. Just wait. Damn, that's a powerful dial. What's the back tip? Did it absorb the hit and now it'll expel it? Surely not. That is sick though. Best dial yet. Damn, if you put that like on your armor, there's so much use. Impact. That's a really strong dial. It has like, what's the, what's the limits of, of it being like absorbing, I guess. Kill average person. Why? Because they were getting hits in on him? I didn't even think they landed a hit on Satori because he could see like two to three seconds ahead in the future. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did just stick out his hand and I thought that was just a power, but it makes sense. That was a dial. More powerful dials in ancient islands. Reject. Oh, they have to find one of those. Double side blade, the blood sword. Damn, tore the user to shreds. But they can be, they range. Sanji trying to clean up. Pierre doesn't need to hear any of this. Oh, interesting. Everything is dials. Except mantra. Like their ability to like see ahead into the future. I don't understand that still. But that probably has more explanation. That makes sense. Sky combat is all dials. There's a lot of application to them. I, yeah, I thought he was talking about this guy originally, which is like being able to skate it and whatnot. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Sanji. Thank you. Oh, he can't? Damn. That's why he lost to Shura. His name right, Shura. Like their energy gives off voices? Why is Sanji still sitting like that? So that's able how he's able to hear them from wherever his shrine is too. So couldn't he be listening to this right now? It has to be because some kind of scam or something, man. There's no way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You feel like you're always being watched and listened to. Hmm. They'll show you soon enough. Like the Shandians? Banana. <laughs> He's a simple man. 50 divine soldiers, three priests. Okay. Oh, I like how he's, he laid that out for us. She peels it for him? Uh -huh. Dang, he is key then. So it sounds like he's like excited for it. Yeah. Calls it a festival. Sheesh. 
Party pooper. I mean, at least he's a relatively chill dude. He's pointing with his toes. He's a bad guy, but he's chill. So they're led by him, kind of. That'd be a crazy fight. The Shandians versus the divine, the divine warriors, soldiers. He's already did the math. Why have the 81 people on this island be standing? Bro, what? How accurate is he? Oh god, wait, I'm terrified now. Man's plan just wiping out the Shandians. He said on the island. They have to see Mary. They're gonna pass right by Mary. But they're headed straight for Inaru. Why would they waste time with Mary? Why are you slacking? Hey, what? The lines in the air! From Sh from Shura? I think. It is. Wait, it is the lines that he left. All traps. Oh, I was right. I am bad with names. Thank goodness. I know my name. Okay, dude. So he put a fire like dial in that bird? We ever since, uh. That's rough. It's not zero. And then I believe the one, like, the, the next priest is, like, above him. Like, it showed, like, the giant beanstalk looking thing. Jango! Now you see them. Now you do. That is a really overpowered ability, I'm gonna be honest. They started dragging onto them as soon as they got in. Oh, that's why the fe feathers flew off. You had to feel it or something. Oh, Wiper's not. I don't think Wiper's uh, tangled up by him. He's got a clear shot, too. He knows! Oh, shoot. Wiper v Shura. Damn! You took a shot. You gotta respect it. You guys need to start figuring out how to break yourselves out. Oh my god. Yeah! He's got another plan. Oh god. He's got a. Wait, an impact! Impact! We know how it works now! Oh, he has a, re a reject! <gasps> Bro, that has to kill him, right? Damn, good timing that we learned about that. In class, history class. Wiper a Giga Chad, man. I don't want to hear it. Oh, he done done. Dunzo McBunzo. So it begins. Damn, that's it. Sure was done. They got to give the other priests uh, some more of a spotlight. A great upset. 3%. I think Enru sees all of this as like he could lose all his soldiers, his priests, and everything. He's still powerful enough to take anyone on. Which he might be. God's divine protection. Yeah, because technically he could help right now if he wanted to. Whether that be like in person or shooting beams from the sky, but he's so ego that he's not going to leave his little palace. Oh my gosh, the divine soldiers! The fifth. Are they. Are they sheep? Are they goats? What are they? Oh, she stayed behind. Oh, she's trying to gather the birth back. Yeah, takes a toll on the user. He's right for the next one. I thought it was going to tear the bandages off at first. Did he just shoot the body? Oh no, he's breaking all the strings. I think he still was though. We're behind enemy lines. Let's all split up. Is that a great idea? Oh, so Wiper, Wiper just dipped. Oh, there's a guy with the two guns. Yes. I love the dual wield. I think Brahm's really cool too. I don't think splitting up is the play. I mean, you guess you catch people off guard more, but still. Together. And there they go. He said five will remain. Expecting heavy losses. Dude, it looks so fun to skate on that though. Damn! Got drive by! His soul! Wait, they just use like martial arts? They are like kind of buying, I think. X style. Can you explain what the X style is? Maybe he'll show us. Oh my gosh! Wait, it's like impact, but it slices. What? Is it an invisible axe? I just know the is gonna get annoying really quickly. Okay, maybe the divine soldiers are nothing to baw at. <laughs> Bro is so lost. <gasps> A soldier. A goat. Is he trying to sound like injured? He's trying to bait him in? Damn! The counter bait. You're nothing. I like it showing that like one destroying one of the Shadians and Luffy just punches it. Now I'm gonna question it. He's still singing his song just angrily. He's keeping himself entertained. Oh. 
That's Wiper. Wiper. Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's team up. <laughs> he does. He's like looking out. Oh, he goes back to singing. <laughs> Don't attack Luffy, bro. Don't attack Luffy, man. Why? Just because he's a, a bit of a nuisance? You'll lose this, Wiper. You will 1 billion percent lose this. All right, the stage has been set for this sort of all out war with the Shandians, the priests, the soldiers, everybody. Again, I do like how they decided to take out Shura fairly quickly because he's sort of had a bit of a spotlight already. And the other two priests haven't really gotten to show that much of what they can do aside from the spar that they had right outside the shrine. But we got even more of a look into, uh, so I guess, Inaru's perspective and how, like I said, he's probably fine with losing literally everybody. He said the numbers would get down to five, whether that be his side or the other side. And he doesn't seem very worried about it two two priests down in over six years he's not worried about it he's not fretting it i hate that our whole group is already split up again but i mean it makes for better content you know different fights can occur in different places the reunion's always sweet i get it but guys that has been it for episodes 168 169 we're getting again more of the battlefield laid out different battles are going, probably going to start popping up here and there if you're new to the channel be sure to drop a sub and hit that big wood bell so you don't miss any future episodes and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace